ABC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Good evening. Scientists at the National Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta today released the results of a study which shows that the lifestyle of some male homosexuals has triggered an epidemic of a rare form of cancer. I get 3,000 phone calls in one day. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. And if so many of you are so upset by this, why do I only hear from this loud mouth? That's a very good question. Okay. There are a half million gay men in our area. 509 cases doesn't seem so high, considering how many of us, I mean you, there are. This is bullshit! Then let me take it. Sir. Hi, please. 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 You are... I'm Bruce Nohels. I'm the president. You're the president? What does that make Mr. Weeks here? He's one of the founders. But we work together jointly. Oh, do you? Yes, we do. Carry on, Mr. Nile. Look. We realize things are tricky. That's right. And the mayor feels that there's no need to declare any kind of emergency. That only excites people. And we simply can't give you office space. We aren't in the free giveaway business. We don't want it for free. We will pay for it. I repeat, I think that is the mayor thinks. You guys are overreacting. You tell that cocksucker that he's a selfish, heartless son of a bitch! You are heading for real trouble. Do you think you can march in here and call us names? You! I'm Michael L. Marcus. You hold an unsecured job with the City Department of Health. I would watch my step if I were you. You have yourself quite a handful here. You might consider putting him in a cage in the zoo. That, I think I can arrange with the mayor. I would watch out for my friends here if I were you. The mayor won't have it! I don't believe that that just happened. I am on the Today Show tomorrow, and I am going to say that the mayor is threatening your job if we don't shut up. The Today Show? Yeah. You're going to do what? You can't do that. Well, of course I can. You just did. God damn it, Ned. We are being treated like shit. And we are allowing it. And until we force them to treat us otherwise, we get exactly what we deserve. Politicians only understand one thing. Pressure. You heard him. Him and his 3,000 Westside phone calls. We are not.